uh, we're here at Laika. And we're checking the Laika Mount. No, I'm checking. It's the L Mount, right? Yes. Is it because of Laika? The L Mount Alliance, yeah. So, so the L Mount is uh, created by Laika. And is now have it's now been announced that we Leica is coordinating with uh, Sigma and Panasonic. Uh, Leica is the licensor of the L mount, and uh, there will now be, as has already been announced by Panasonic, cameras uh, from Panasonic that use the L mount, which will be compatible with Leica's L mount lenses. Uh, and you know, there will will be, of course, then lenses from Sigma also using the L mount. Uh, these are our full-frame lenses that are already compatible with our Leica SL, which you see here. This is the new 35mm uh, f2 Summicron SL lens that will be coming out in the near future. Um, and we have already a variety of both zoom and prime lenses for the L-mount. We started the L-mount in 2014 with the Leica T, so that was an APS-C system, and we were already building it for the future because it's a mount that could work for both APS-C and full frame. So when the Leica SL was released, uh, it has a full frame sensor and same lens mount. So we have already a, a lineup of APS-C lenses for the L mount and a lineup of full frame lenses for the L mount. So uh, it, it, it's, a, it's a great collaboration that allows uh, all you know customers from all companies to, to benefit. It's really, you know, we see it as more choice is better for the customer. So is there, um, because you say this APS-C, the, does APS-C lens fit on a full frame camera? Yes, you can take our, our, our TL lenses uh, and put them onto the SL. The SL will automatically crop to APS-C size uh, and that will allow you to use it, not at full resolution on the SL, but you still take full advantage of the APS-C lens on the full frame camera. But this, this alliance is a full frame alliance. Yes. But maybe well, it opens it up be, the potential it, for an APS-C also. Yeah, it can, it can lead to also APS-C lenses as well. Um, APS-C cameras even. Po possibly, possibly, yeah, I, I can't yeah. say, I don't know. But uh, you know, ultimately, uh, it, it leads to a lot of options because the L-mount is such a flexible uh, and robust lens mount. So um, Leica is a, let's say, top expert in lens optics and all that stuff. Right. Uh, German company? Yes. Of course, made, but uh, and these lenses are made in Germany, yes. This one, for example, made in Germany? Yes. Um, uh, and uh, But, for example, there's some very cool Leica branded lenses on the Micro Four Thirds. Right. And uh, But they are, they are cheaper, but that's maybe not made in Germany, right? Yeah, they're not made in Germany. They, they have to adhere to Leica's uh, level of quality control and testing. Um, those lenses have been being made for, for quite some time now, because that's just along with Leica's uh, you know, long history of collaboration with Panasonic and partnership with Panasonic. So the L-Mount Alliance really just takes that to uh, a new level, uh, but also brings Sigma into the fold. Uh, which is uh, exciting to work with. A, it's not a comp it's a competitor, Sigma? Well, you know, the, the companies are, are ally allied now in an alliance, but ultimately they st we still are competitors. Um, you know, it's just that now it, it gives the, the customer more options. Which is good for everybody in the alliance. Exactly, yes. Right? Because right. maybe you can act, even have some kind of deals where you say, I'll take care of these kinds of, uh, you know, lenses, you do those, you know. We don't have to necessarily compete on exactly the same specs. Well, it, it, there are, it, there actually are restrictions as to how, because you can't, there are restrictions as to how you, how you can uh, co coordinate, um, but ultimately what it really means is that, you know, Leica can make, can focus on what Leica does best, Sigma can focus on what Sigma does best, and Panasonic can focus on what they do best, and our cust our customers, their customers, and, you know, all of them have, have all the same options, right? So if, uh, if, if there's a kind of lens that Leica typically wouldn't make, you know, maybe Sigma makes it, maybe Panasonic makes it, and, and then our customers, their customers have, has that option. Or, you know, maybe you have a, a customer that is a Panasonic customer, now they have the option of Leica lenses for their camera that, you know, for native autofocus support. Uh, so do you have autofocus in that one? Yes, this is full autofocus system. All of them? Yes, yeah, it's a full autofocus uh, mount and system. So, um, you designed this mount, what was the considerations that Leica had? Uh, is it a perfect size, a perfect everything? Yeah, so the idea is that uh, the L mount from the beginning was designed to have a uh, 
wide diameter and, uh, and shallow flange distance. Uh, so that way you can adapt just about any lens to it. We can already adapt M rangefinder lenses to it. We can already adapt uh, almost any Leica lens to it. Um, and of course, going forward, there's opportunities to adapt even all kinds of other lenses. So it's, it's a very, very much like a universal format, and this will allow it to be really the most versatile lens mount in the world. So again, all the customers really win. But uh, there are like new full-frame mirrorless launched at the show from Nikon and Canon. Uh -huh. Any of them a little bit bigger or, you know, like each one is slightly different. There's some considerations in one and the other. Right. I guess maybe the calculation here is the best one in the market or like, you know, with the exact size and everything. Uh, well, you know, everyone has their own sizing, but uh, it was, you know, done by like engineers to uh, right from the start have, you know, what they, they felt is the optimal uh, size and dimensions. Future proof. Correct. So because uh, it's supposed to last for very long, sometimes exactly. mounts last for a very long time. Right. And, and, and anyone that knows Leica knows that Leica is an investment for, uh, in a lot of cases, a lifetime investment. You know, there are people that shoot with Leica lenses that they have from decades ago, and they're still compatible with our, our, a lot of our latest cameras. And again, with an SL uh, or just the L mount, you can adapt all of those lenses too. So it's you know not uncommon for someone to invest in a Leica lens to use for a very, very long time. So the same philosophy is brought to the L mount uh, in the future proofing. I have a Leica from the 60s. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so my father got it in the 60s, so yeah. maybe it's still compatible. Yeah, uh, I, I can pretty much near guarantee you that that lens you have or multiple lenses you have could be adapted to the, to the L mount. So there's a lot of other things that are exciting about this uh, alliance, new cameras, uh, video. Uh, are you doing a lot of video with your SL right now? Yeah, the SL is very capable, dual purpose, you know, yeah. stills and video camera. Uh, again, very similar to the, uh, you know, to the S in terms of its operation. Uh, very intuitive, four button control, again, customizable. Uh, and yeah, this can do uh, Cine 4K uh, as well as full HD, even uh, even slow motion, 120 frame per second uh, video recording. With no crop? Uh, it crops for the 4K to Super yeah. 35, uh, and then uh, 1080 is uh, full frame. So how long time ago was this released? This was released end of 2015. So, um, and uh, can we look up in here? Uh, oh, you yeah. have uh, dual card slots. Dual card slots. Yeah, SD cards. SD UHS. UHS two, two for the primary card slot. All right, but uh, so this is going to be very active in the next few months. There's going to be lots of stuff happening. Uh, did you announce any number of lenses that will come? Or yeah, so we have a roadmap. Uh, the, the the 35. This lens was already announced uh, a little bit ago, along with a 50 millimeter uh, f2 Summicron for the SL for the L mount. And we also, at, at Photokina 2018, have also announced three more Supercon SL lenses that will come, a 28 millimeter, 24 millimeter, and 21 millimeter. Uh, all Supercon SL lenses are apochromatic, and all the new ones, even the wide angles, will be apochromatic. So these are really, really high performance lenses uh, with really great autofocus. Uh, and again, because they're for SL and now for, you know, for really all, any L mount camera, but we build our SL lenses to be weather sealed uh, so they're meant to be rugged, meant to be under a professional <laughs> load and do anything, really go anywhere, do anything. Uh, but uh, there's some kind of talk about, you know, those lenses being uh, the ones that you have thus far are uh, four or five, six thousand dollars, right? Well, uh, Leica builds and manufactures lenses, cameras and everything really always to be the best. Uh, we, we do things by, you know, we do things kind of our way, which is always uh, top level manufacturing, high quality materials, right, and quality craftsmanship. We do a lot of hand assembly and we make the majority of our products in Germany. So with that uh, comes a premium price. But again, as we we're discussing, it's, uh, it's meant for a long term investment uh, and it's future proof. So uh, you can uh, know that you're getting one of, if not the best lenses around. Uh, and you know that it'll it'll you know keep doing its job for you for a very very long time. But any chance there might be some uh, cheaper ones from Leica? Or you, you're not saying? I can't comment on future yeah. products. All right, but uh, looking forward to this alliance. It's going to be very exciting to see um, uh, what's going to come out of that. Some exciting yeah. new camera. The Panasonic camera looks great. 
Um, uh, Sigma said they would do a camera also with Provian. So it's, it's going to be a great new ecosystem right there. Yeah, the more, the more options, the better. Right.